Hey everyone, Will here with uh, Flea Market Finds Part 2. We just covered the uh, belt buckles there. Uh, moving on to the car. It's uh, plastic, not much. The reason I bought it though, it's a uh, Tootsie toy. Kind of unusual being plastic. Still got the decals, so I took a chance on it. It was only four bucks. Uh, Kiss light up, uh, whatever that is. Uh, it lights up all different colors. Kind of neat looking. Wish it was from the 70s, but it's uh, not that old. Uh, I think it's dated 2007 on the back. That was 15 I paid for that. Might have overpaid. Um, but I know it's a lot of Kiss fans still out there. Fishing reel, kind of heavy duty, but it's a walker. Uh, not the best of names. Uh, five bucks, uh, should be easy 15. Uh, DVD collection of uh, uh, hunting. Different, uh, we got Cape Buffalo, Elephant, White Rhino. Uh, kind of unusual uh, set, paid five for that. Uh, Donald Duck and Mickey Mouse paint boxes. Uh, they were four bucks uh, for the pair. Uh, Becker's snack can. Neat old tin. Uh, paid two dollars for that. And uh, probably a twenty dollar tin there. A uh, Charles Dickens book. Pretty neat. Mark British made. Uh, got that for a dollar. Budman. Uh, mug, Budweiser, uh, paid uh, seven for him. Uh, G.I. Joe box, just a box, that was uh, three dollars. Uh, Baltimore Bullets hat, two bucks. Uh, not Baltimore Bullets, Washington Bullets, used to be Baltimore Bullets. Um, really neat old uh, thermos, took a chance on this. Uh, paid seven for Woodland Jug. Uh, made in USA. Not sure who makes it. Uh, moving on. Got a pool stick. Needs a little cleaning up. Marked. J&J, uh, &J, which is kind of a economy brand uh, pool stick. Uh, paid six for that and should bring... I'm thinking around 25. Got a bunch of He-Man figures, paid a buck a piece. I'll probably put them all in one lot. They're in halfway decent shape. You know, He-Man, that's uh, 30 years ago now. Over 30. A couple Xbox 360 games, Splinter Cell, Sean White. Uh, got both those for uh, um, $8 uh, for both of them. Dungeons and Dragons books. Got these for two bucks a piece. A uh, whole lot of surgical stuff. We got scissors. I don't know what these things are. Um, some kind of cutters. Whole box, whole bag of uh, uh, scalpels. Uh, Paid 20 bucks for the whole box. Um, not sure what this stuff goes for. A uh, whole set of uh, Fiesta wear. Um, this is not old. This is the newer Fiesta. Um, never seen that before. Didn't even know they had a flatware out. Uh, but paid 20 bucks for that. And it's... Uh, a lot of different place settings in there. Uh, have to see what that goes for. Neat wooden box. Paid 15 for this. It's a uh, whiskey box. Somebody added a uh, lid on. I was thinking about uh, taking the lid off to uh, sell it, but I think I'll leave it on there. Uh, 
Pure Kentucky Tavern Whiskey, distilled by Kentucky Tavern Distillery, Owensboro, Kentucky. Uh, H.S. Barton Distillery, spring 1915. Pretty neat old box, I like that. It's got a lot of character to it. It's been around almost 100 years. Couple fry pans, both these are uh, Griswold, uh, very collectible, need a bit of cleaning, but uh, uh, probably about uh, $30, 30 to $40 worth of uh, cast iron there, and I paid 12 bucks for the uh, pair of them. Nice uh, deer rack, uh, paid 10 for that, and got some really Nice A-pointer, got some good length to it. I'm thinking somewhere around uh, $30, $40 uh, for that rack. Whole bag, got uh, 10 rolls of uh, tape, packing tape, that's for myself. That was $7 for 10 rolls. Uh, pretty neat, uh, loose sight, kind of funky looking. Um from the 60s I would guess uh, maybe 70s uh, clean it up definitely needs a good cleaning paid five dollars for that and uh, yeah I think I might try like a hundred bucks on that it's kind of uh, kind of neat looking the uh, another one of my favorite pieces the uh, boxing trophy no name on it or anything, but uh, kind of unusual. It's got the small gloves on, so I think it's got some age on them. Uh, but uh, pretty neat. Got a, you can see the way the, his shorts are being held up with a scarf pulled around. Uh, unusual. Um, I paid uh, 40 for this. So I'm going to put a good price on him. I'm thinking at least a hundred probably more um, and Nathan he got himself some uh, army men and uh, putting them to good use aren't you Nathan yep what you got here you got a whole battle laid out don't you yeah what do you got Germans and uh, British is that British a little bit of everything yeah, that's huh? Japanese and that's American oh okay everybody's fighting Pretty neat. Um, I also made that ram for it. Yeah, it looks good. So, there you go. A little bit of everything. Um, take a look at my store on eBay. Uh, Terminal 99, uh, that's where most of this stuff will be appearing. Uh, so, till next time, this is uh, Will Yard Sales Survivalist. And we'll talk again soon.